on live. Just like that. Shocking. Cool. I'm just going to hang out. Wait. See if there's anybody else oh, out there. There's a name. Oh, tag friends. Yeah, I can tag friends. Try another way of going live during your broadcast. No, no, no. Just... All right. No idea. Oh, I have one viewer. That's what that says. That's what that means. I got one person looking at me. Who could yes. It, who could it be? I don't know who it is. Maybe they'll say hi. Who yeah. knows? Yeah. There's, and there, oh, you got a map. Something happened. Oh, there's, oh, there's three. Wave. Whoa. People are waving. Hello. How is everyone? Trevor J. Davies is watching. Wow. And Mr. Hool is watching. Ms. Tyler's watching. And this is my cat. Oh, there's eight. There's seven people. This is this is my cat. Hi, Chloe. All right. So, got a couple people on. Awesome. Here we go. This is how to polish your boots 101. So, I've been working on a set of boots for four or five days now, about half an hour a day. Um, this is how what they started. So I, I only polished one. This is what they started as. And no, not cat polishing, boot polishing. And this is where I'm at right now with this guy. Now the thing you need to know about boots is it's not a quick fix. It's not a, a something that's going to happen overnight. It takes a lot of hard work. It took me seven years to get them to the point where you could almost shave your face in them. So it takes some time, but that's why we're here. Cool. So recommended um, boot polishing supplies. That's the word I'm looking for. Kiwi. Kiwi is probably the best cloth out there for polishing. You can get regular claws. They just, or like non kiwi claws. They look like this, but kiwi's always better. I like the chamois. Kind of. Like a sham chamois? Yeah, you know, like you used to polish a vehicle, like they have a really nice soft... They have a really nice soft feel. Like a sham. Hi, Cabri. Chamois. Cham. Chamois. But Kiwi Claws, the bomb. Um, I went to Walmart to see what sort of supplies they have for everybody. And uh, we have a money's awesome. worth and best quality shoe polish. It's all right. Then I went to Shoppers Drug Mart and I found the Kiwi Polish. Ta-da! Cool. So, here we go. <clears throat> you have your Kiwi Polish, you open it. I've got water in there because it keeps it um, nice and moist and it's not going to dry out and crack. Hello, Jace. Alright, here we go. So, you have the top, the lid of your Kiwi um, Polish or any whatever your polish is. You're going to just put a little bit of water in that guy because you're going to use it. That was my friend Tammy that walked by. All right, so kiwi cloth. Here we go. You're going to take your kiwi cloth. I like to polish on one side because I'm a little OCD, but who knew that about me? Everybody knows that about me. So when you're picking the spot on your cloth, it really doesn't matter where you put your finger and you decide where you're going to wrap your cloth around. I like to stay about three inch, three or four inches from the edge because it's just easier. There's less cloth overall to try and work with. So you take your cloth and you put your, put the edge about on your finger, on your knuckle here. And then you grab it and you wrap it around. So it looks like that. Just like that. Take it, wrap it nice and tight. You want it nice and tight, otherwise you're gonna get like a sloppy surface and it's gonna take longer for you to actually um, polish the cloudiness off your boots. So, well, I had it and now I wrecked it. Here we go. <sighs> Live videos, they're great. All right, wrapped, there we go. Now, when I was a kid, I used to lick my boots to polish them. Um, I don't do that anymore, not because I don't want to, um, 
but I've just eaten. And if you get food and, and crap on your boots, it's not good for them. So, not, I'm gonna tip you guys so you can see. So I've got my, uh, the lid of my polishing with some water in it. I've got my polish here with a little bit of water on top to keep it nice and moist. Here we go. So, you take your wrapped finger and you dip it in a little bit of water. And then you grab some polish. It doesn't really matter how much polish it is to start with because you're going to start with your base coat. So, I've got a bunch of polish on there, a little bit of water. I'm going to take my shiny boot, yes, the shiny boot, the one that I've been working on, and here we go. We're going to pick a spot, any spot on the boot. I'm going to go with the toe. And you're just going to, let me see if I can angle this so that you can see it better, or maybe I'll just hold it. I'll hold it. You take your polish, and you just go to town. Ta-da! Look at that. So it went from shiny to not shiny. And that's what you want. Because if you don't have any polish on there to polish, it's not going to get shiny. So here we go. On toe. <clears throat> so the whole toe now is covered in a base coat of polish. Any questions? Are we all keeping up? Are we all doing it with me? Alright, here we go. Now, once you get your polish on your boot like this, it's nice and cloudy, there's some water droplets on it, all you do is you breathe on it, and you have small little circles, just small little circles all the way around. Gotta move that polish and work that polish around. You wanna add some water, because the water is what helps get rid of the cloudiness. The liquid is what helps get rid of the cloudiness. <clears throat> Breath, polish, I see water droplets on there, maybe. The water droplets. Does kiwi, no, no, mm -mm. do not use prey gloss. No, 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 no. Prey gloss is not what we use on these boots. It, uh, it causes what we call boot cancer, which will peel the polish, will peel the black polish right off your boots. Okay? Pray gloss is very, very bad, yes. But you can use almost any sort of professional black shoe polish like this. I know it's backwards, but it's just a shoe polish, it's black. You can find it in brown, you can find it in black, but Kiwi, to me, is the best. Parade Gloss is a definite no. Definitely go with Kiwi. Um, yep, definitely Kiwi is where I is who I go with. And I have found Kiwi at Shoppers Drug Mart, of all places, and also at uh, Superstore. And I was told by Lieutenant Hodges he's seen it out in Martinsville at um, Dollarama. And somewhere else out there. So if you're not in Saskatoon and you can't get in, because, you know, we're social distancing, which is why we're doing this. So I just added a little bit more water for those of you. Okay, I just add a little bit more water. And the more water you add and the more circles you do, the shinier your boots will get. Oh, co-op. Co-op also has in Martinsville also has uh, Kiwi Polish. Miss uh, TV Latham is letting me know that. Well, probably all of you. Alright, so... I'm just polishing the one side so that you guys, you guys can see the difference. It's not a fast process, like I said. It's not like tying a tie where it's super quick and easy to, once you get your tying your tie down, it's super fast, super easy. Quick, uh, quick little tidbit here. My dad tied my tie when I was uh, <clears throat> in my first level and I never untied it. That was how I cheated. Oh no, Jace, your, your meme didn't show up as a meme, it showed up as a, as a link. Was it a funny meme? Well, it was a funny meme. 
You're, you should be polishing your boots along with me. <laughs> Adding a little bit more water. So once you get your base coat of polish on, you really don't have to add more polish to it. It's really just polishing now what's there and creating that nice, beautiful gloss that everybody wants. Any questions yet? Anyone? No? Just gonna sit here and watch me breathe on my boot. It's not even my boot. I can go over lacing your boot really quick too at the end. Because lacing your boots are not easy if you don't know how to do it. Alright, so I'll hold this guy up here and you can kind of see, so you can see the side that I haven't touched yet and you can sort of see the side that I've started to, right? It's not a fast process. It takes some time to do. Good boots take time to do. So. Any questions? Anybody need me to cover anything else? Another thing to keep in your boot polishing kit is a toothbrush. A toothbrush, you might say. Why, ma'am, would you ever need a toothbrush in your boot polishing kit? Well, let me tell you. There are these things called wells on your boots. Anybody want to take a guess where a well on a boot is? here. This guy here, all the way around the edges. And let me tell you, that gets really dirty. But if you have a toothbrush, I don't have an extra one on me at the moment, and you put it just, just on the side of your polish and you get just a little bit of polish on it, then you can go along the edge and you can just brush your polish in there and make it nice and black again. So, toothbrush in your uh, polishing kit. Yeah, definitely one of those things you should get. But, I mean, it doesn't have to be an expensive toothbrush. It can be a dollar toothbrush from the dollar store. It can be one of those little travel toothbrushes. That works just fine, too. So you can see I'm doing small concentric circles. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which direction you go, just so long as you're doing them. Okay. Little circles, water, breath. What you do and if you notice that your boots are not coming uncloudy if they're still really cloudy you need to add more water more water from your kiwi lid that you've put in there this is what I do it's really, really easy to polish your boots if you have a TV show that you like to watch because you can have your TV show on and you can polish your boots and when you get, and you'll notice, um, it'll be very intense on the TV and you'll be watching TV and all you'll be doing is this in one spot. And then you'll make that spot really shiny and you'll go, oh crap, now I have to make the rest of it really shiny. Cadet problems. I gotta tell you, they're a thing. Alright. How am I doing so far, guys? Anybody questions? Anybody have a question? Want me to answer? How are we all doing out there? How's our social distancing going? How's not having to go to school, kids? <laughs> I still have to go to work, so. But that's fine. Lawyers are an essential service, and I work for lawyers, so. Such is life. Now you might be saying, ma'am, how do you get down into the bottom, like way down here, not the well of your boot, but right, right here. You just slip your boot over and you come at it from a different angle. It's physics. Super easy. Sad that I still have to go to work or, or sad that I'm trying to do a physics lesson. <laughs> uh, I think I'm funny, guys. I think that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. 
Or you're sad that you're not in school. Sad that you're not in school? Sad that you can't see your friends every day? Sad that you're in isolation? Yeah, me too. I go to work, I come home, don't get to go outside, don't get to do anything. I go to the grocery store if I have to. Alright, so, this is, this is your boot. This is the toe of my boot that we've been working on, that I've been working on, okay? Now, it's also important, when you're polishing your boot, this guy up in here, this is why you have to be able to take your laces out and know how to lace the boots back up. So here, this guy here, you want to make sure that that's polished along with this ridge here. This is all polished up to about your third um, boot lace hole all the way around. You want to make sure that the back is all polished. You want to make sure that this is polished and that this is polished. It's a lot. This is why people who have small feet in cadets laugh at the people who have big feet in cadets. I had big feet. My sisters had small feet. Any other questions that I can help you out with? Anything at all? Anything I need to go over again? I'm just going to keep polishing my boot. That's what I'm going to keep doing. Add a little bit of polish to my cloth. And now I'm going to start attacking the side of my boot. So again, we'll do it on this surface because it's a nice flat surface and you can all see. It's got the shine on it already. That's fine. We're going to get rid of the shine. Here we go. I'm going to put that on there. Shine is gone. Right? That's fine because now I'm going to add some water. And we just... Just polish. Breath. Polish. Breath. Polish. back of your boot. It's what we're doing right now. Or do you mean the very, very back, like, like here? Same principle, same thing. Just work your way around the whole boot. Same little circles. Same bit of polish. My cloth has started to slip off my finger. Like I said, watching a TV show is super great. A movie's really good too because you can get in two hours of polishing time if it's a movie. An hour per boot. Also, when this whole uh, COVID-19 thing has passed, when we're not social distancing anymore, one thing that I used to do as a cadet was have boot polishing parties. And I would have all of my cadet friends over we would sit around and we would talk and we would just polish boots, you know, before cell phones and the internet was ever a thing. Because, you know, I did not have Google in high school to be able to research anything or look up funny videos or, you know, so I didn't have really any distractions, which is kind of sad, but what are you going to do? Alright, so, you all saw what it looked like before when I put the polish on, right? Now you can see that I've polished, you can actually see in the reflection, you can see it's getting there, it is getting there. You can see my reflection in the boot, you can see the iPad reflected in the boot. Oh yes, don't forget to send in your the pictures of your boots for the uh, boot polishing competition that we're holding with 574. <sighs> Send them in via Facebook Messenger. Once we get some more, we will be posting them weekly. They're pretty good prizes. <sighs> I'm not allowed to tell you what they are though. 
That's uh, that's for Captain Davies to do. So. All right. Just like that. It went from being full of polish to being shiny. To the boot, we did that guy. But again, you do all the way around your boot, the whole thing, because it's great to have a shiny toe, but if the back isn't shiny and the sides aren't shiny, it doesn't look very good, so. The private group or the public one? The private group. Send it to the private group message. The, so the 574 RCACS page. I mean, it shouldn't matter either way. The only people that have access to that in our group is the uh, are the officers. So, the side of your boot again, just put your boot upside down on your finger. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm, mm or on your hand. Sorry, put it upside down so that your finger can get right into those tiny little crevices that go into the edge. I'm being told, send them to the public messenger, the messenger bracket message function. So just to clarify, Captain Davies, because I assume you're the one that's on that page, um, to the 574 Dakota Royal Canadian Air Cadets page, or to our closed group that I'm doing this video on. He's not answering me. Oh, he's looking. <laughs> he's trying to figure it out too. There you go. It's, it's technology. We're not, we the officers are not as um, versed in technology as you guys are. We're trying though, we are trying. This is what this whole project is about. So, the public one where you can use the message button. There you go. So on the public page, you can use the message button. So the 574 Dakota Royal Canadian Air Cadet Squadron page. It's our public page, you can go on there, you can say send a message, and then you can send us a picture of your boots, the before picture of your boots, and make sure you send us weekly updates on your boots because even half an hour a day polishing these suckers, in no time they are going to be the shiniest on parade. I promise. Any other questions? Anyone out there got any questions for me? Feeling a little lonely. My cat's not even meowing at me, which is weird. She usually does. What I was going to say before I was interrupted by the captain is even even where the the stitches are try and polish in between there and that's super easy you just go right over top of them Rachel Rancourt says the message button doesn't work for her hmm I am polishing a cadet boot it's old older style I think cadet boot Life. Life is okay. Like I said, I'm a little lonely because, you know, can't go out and see my friends, but otherwise it's all right. I still have a job. I'm not one of the many Canadians out of work right now due to the pandemic, so that's good. Um, but, yeah. Pick of where. I was trying to send a pick of where. Oh, I understand. He's trying to post a photo of where you click to send in your photos. Um, he can screenshot it and then upload the screenshot. Yeah, it's probably a Gen 1. 
It's what I used. Um, it's what uh, TV Keen grabbed from the office before we shut everything down so that we could do these videos. But I heard from the supply officer that uh, we're not going to be having the big tankier style boots uh, anymore, but I don't know if that's true or not. Okay. You can see my other polishing cloth over in this corner on my boot. Right? Whereas, and you can see the difference because you wouldn't, you can't really see it in this one. You can see that there's something over here, but you can't see definitively what it is. So, uh, Supply Officer says, yes, that's true. You're not going to be getting tanker boots, tanker boots anymore. Um, I don't know if they're going back to a Gen 1 type looking boot or not, but I do know that the tanker boots are not going to be around anymore, which is good. All right, here we go. The inside of your boot. This is probably the most frustrating one because it has the curve, the curve going in. So you really got to work your finger into that, those corners. Really got to work it in there. Really don't be afraid to get the polish in there. And you might say, but ma'am, when we're marching or when we're standing at attention, you don't see the inside of our feet. Why do we have to polish the inside of our boot? Well, because you should. You sh your whole boot should be uniform the same. The whole thing should be uniform, uniformly shiny? Is uniformly even a word? Anyway. The outside of your boot is shiny, the inside should be shiny. It's like yin and yang. Uh, Cam Davies has posted a pic of the messenger button to send your pictures to. <sighs> posted the picture where? Yes, you are right, Miss Hins. It is also good discipline to have the whole boot polished. It's very good. Good point. Thank you. For those of you who just joined, any questions you have for me, please shout them out. Captain Davy says he posted it to the group. So I assume the private group he posted it to, even though you post it on the public page. And it really might seem like you're, you're getting nowhere with your boots. Because they might look to you the same, but over time, and I do mean over time, they will become very, very, very shiny. Getting right in there. Little circles. Getting in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not nearly as fun when I can't interact with people face to face. So you guys can't groan. All right. Questions? Anything yet? Anything? Should we go over lacing your boot? Lacing your boot back up after you've taken the lace out so that you can polish this little keyhole, right? Make sure you get that guy. Just like I said, all around the whole boot, even this part. And spend equal time, correct, make sure you spend equal time on each boot, otherwise you're going to get one that's nice and shiny, and one that's nice and dull. Okay? Alright. Move my stuff out of the way here. Oh, back it up. Alright, so, your boot. Lacing your boot. This is how I lace my boot. So I've got my lace, and I make sure that it is equal all the way across. All right. Take your lace and you thread it over the top. So not inside, over top of. So it goes into and into. And all the way through. Okay? 
Oh, I totally put that on the wrong... Put that in the wrong eyelet. Hang on, guys. Sorry. I put it up too high. I'm so sorry. Okay, there we go. Okay, you see how it's on the outside of the boot? That's what we want. Now, there are two ways to do it. I'm going to show you how I do it first, and then I'll show you how to do it the other way. Okay, so once you have it... Let me see if I can get something here that I can set this on. Once you have it laced on the bottom, okay, take, doesn't matter which side you start with, take one side and you're going to count not, not this eyelet, but this eyelet. So you're two up. You're going to go through the inside to the outside, pull it through. Super easy. Now the opposite side, Instead of counting up two, you're just going to go up one. And you're going to go through. Everybody see that? Okay. Now the one that you went up one, you're going to bring it across the boot and go into the one that you left open between these two. Whoop. Okay. Now, the one that you just went through, you're going to go up to. So I'm not going to go through this one, obviously, because this one's taken. But I am going to go through the one right above it. Now, this guy is going to come all the way across and go into the next free eyelet. That's what they're called. Eyelets. Okay? Now, this one is not going to go through this one. It's going to go, you're going to skip a hole. Sensing a pattern. Then this one from the other side is going to come all the way across and into that one. Are we sensing a pattern? Then this guy's going to go through the next open one. And this one's going to come all the way through and across to the other side. Right? So we're straight lacing. We're essentially straight lacing your boot. more boot lace here. Alright, now, where am I at here? This guy is going to come across and tuck in. Whoops. And then this one that's come across is going to go into the very top hole here. Now this one is going to come across and be diagonal from its hole. Everybody see that? Okay. That is how you lace your boots. That's how I lace my boots. There's another way. We're going to cover that momentarily. I'm going to briefly see if I have colored thread or colored so it's easier to see against the black. I will keep talking while I go rummage through my rummage drawer. Uh, let me see if I can find what I'm looking for. Ha ha ha! Success! She said very loudly to herself. <clears throat> it's important to have conversations in your time of isolation, even if it's with yourself. It's very important. Also, I find that I always get the right answer if I talk to myself, so that's helpful. <clears throat> All right, look at this, guys. Look at what I found. My rainbow paracord. Yes, that's right. Rainbow paracord. Mm -hmm. It's a thing. It is a thing. Found it at Walmart, in case anyone's curious. You burn the ends so that they don't fray. Okay, all right, now I'm going to unlace my boot. <laughs> Fun fact, my older brother laced my boots for me after every time I polished my boots because I couldn't do it when I was 12. Okay, where's my, there it is. Cool, now I've got rainbow. Ha ha ha. Now you'll be able to see it easier. Cool. All right. So 
This is the second method of lacing your boots. Same starting point. On the bottom, same starting point, you're going in the outside. of each of the bottom eyelets. All right, everyone see? Okay, now, instead of having them the equal distance, you are going to shorten one boot um, lace on, the shorten the boot lace on one side and you're gonna take it and thread it all the way at the very top. So it looks like that. Okay, and then you're gonna leave this one totally alone. Leave it alone. Now your really long end, just like what we did before, we go up one and over and up and over, and it's what we're doing this time. So, here we go, we're gonna go in to the next available eyelet. Here. And then we immediately go across to the next available eyelet. <laughs> okay, and then you go up one, and you go across to the next open eyelet, and this is the pattern for this guy. Now the reason that, uh, this is typically I believe how you lace a combat boot more than a parade boot. And the reason for that is if you need to get the boot off, it's much easier to cut through uh, the lace if it's just um, laced this way. Oop, I almost screwed that one up. Mm -hmm. All right, so then once you're at the top, if we all followed my insane... Do -do -do. Back and forth. So then this guy, again, just diagonal up to this top corner, and voila, you've laced your boot two different ways. Oh, combat boots are cross-laced now. There you go. Combat boots are cross-laced, not parade boots. So this is one way to do your parade boot lacing, and I showed you the other way, but I can show you again if you want to see it with the pretty, pretty rainbow. It's up to you guys. I don't care. That's why I'm here. And then when you tie your boots, <clears throat> I liked to use a square knot because it was easier to get undone at the very end of the night and I, I found that it never came undone. So square knots are, is that my left? Left over right and under, and then right over left and under. Square knot, see? It doesn't really come undone. You can pull it nice and tight. And at the end of the night, it's really easy to just undo because you just grab them and you go boop. Any questions? Anything? Anything at all, guys? No? Yeah? No? Maybe? Maybe? So what did we learn? We learned that it's good to put the first lacing again. All right, I'll do the first lacing again. We've learned that it's good to put polish onto your shiny boots. No matter how shiny they are, you always have to add more polish. We've learned that you need to spend equal amount of time polishing your boots. Otherwise, one's going to be shinier than the other and people are gonna know which one you like more, which is weird to say, but we learned kind of how to lace our boots. We're gonna do it again though. And we learned we go all the way around the boot when we polish. And we've learned that Kiwi is the best kind of polish in polishing cloth, though you can use other polish. It doesn't have to be Kiwi. But do not use parade gloss and do not use those um, polishes that come with the sponge on top. Don't use those either. Just use a brick of Kiwi polish. All right, here we go. Lacing our boots the first way again. Get it at the right angle here. So this is the one where we want equal distance on both laces. Here we go. In to the very bottom eyelet we go. Oh goodness. Come on. Maybe. 
no liquid polish either yet. So the liquid polish is what I was saying with the um, sponges on the end, those tubes that have the sponge on the end, do not use liquid polish. Mm -mm. Nope. No Parade Gloss, no liquid polish, you just want to use black polish. Black professional shoe polish. Okay, so here we go. We're on the bottom. We've got equal distance on both of our shoelaces. Doesn't matter which side you start with, it really doesn't. I'm going to start with the left shoelace. It's going to go up two. So I'm going to bring it up. Here we go. I'm going to bring it up not one. I'm going to bring it up to the second one. And I'm going to go on the inside. Okay. I'm going to let drop it. This guy, it's on the other side. We're going to go through the first available eyelet. Okay. Then this one is going to come across the boot and into the open hole between these two on the outside. Okay. Now this one that we've just threaded through is going to go up to the next available eyelet hole here. And then you can drop it and let it go. Now the purple guy, because it's mainly purple here, that guy is now going to come across and go into your next available eyelet here on the outside, from the outside. And then you're going to go up two. One, two. Why do we go up two? Because the one on the other side, we only went up one. All right. Now we can take this guy and we can come across right away because we know that it's going to be in the next available eyelet up here. And then we're going to take this guy and we're going to come back across over here and go through the empty eyelet here. Now, same thing, this guy's going to go to the next available open eyelet, and it's going to go across to the next available open eyelet, maybe, and then that one you're just going to leave alone now. Take your other guy, he's going to go all the way up to the top, this one, and then uh, from here, this guy's going to stay over here, and this guy's going to come across and be your diagonal line on top. So let me pull this, and then you work your lace so that it's going to be nice and even. I'm going to pull it so it's nice and tight, evenly. And voila! Questions? Anything? Anything at all? This is why I'm here. This is why we're doing this. Because if you've got a question, I want to answer it. If it's related to boot polishing. I mean, I'll answer questions anyway, but... No. Well, this took about as long as I thought it would because, again, polishing your boots is not an overnight thing. It takes time. It takes effort. It's important. It, trains, it teaches you discipline. And if you have any other questions, I'm here to answer them. Okay, guys. See you later. Oop.